Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Starlight Island Adventure by Gamma V. <laughs> Let us continue with the Parched Plateau 4. I mean, the stage names are not exactly the most creative that have ever existed, but um, they're also kind of in keeping with uh, general Mario motifs of world number and so forth. Honestly, coming up with uh, names for all the individual stages seems like a really difficult thing to do. Eventually, some of them are going to start being pretty bad. Or if you're a uh, cipher, all of them are going to be pretty bad. <laughs> All right, let's take out the fire for a little bit. There's quicksand down there, but it's not exactly the quickest of quicksand. Although it can get in your way, for sure. Boomerang is just kind of going on its merry way. You gotta be impressed with the boomerang bros, because they can make a boomerang go flying off for infinity, which it really can't in most other cases. I mean, how many boomerangs uh, in video games do you know will just fly forever into the abyss? I mean, most of the boomerangs that I see in Mega Man aren't that way. They, uh, they reliably return to you. Like, they are magnetically attracted to you. Actually, they might actually be. That gun arm of Mega Man's might have a magnet in it. But, Doc, if they if they had a magnet in it, wouldn't that harm Mega Man? Well, not necessarily. He could be, well, magnetically shielded. It is 20XX. There could be plenty of technological upgrades of all sorts. All right, there's a piece switch. There's a door. There's me getting uh, nailed. Oh, well, I wonder where we're supposed to go. <laughs> Probably in the place that requires the piece switch. I mean, it's just a hunch. I might be completely wrong, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm completely wrong. Oh, we have fire snakes, do we? Uh, their bodies persist for a long, a little bit longer than they should after their heads are gone. Makes me a little bit disturbed. Ah, here's another P-Switch. So, I'm gonna guess that this is a whole bunch of P-Switch puzzles. The question, though, is... I can't be on top of there because those will turn coin. And that other door is probably not, so maybe it's... Maybe it's there, or could it be... Well, let's try, because we have a reset, obviously. Ah, here we go. Go! Hey, 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 let me in the door. That Koopa nearly cost me the, the chance to get in there. Okay. We have two directions. Left is usually not the... Well... Took another hit there. Hmm, okay. That, was that just for, that, uh, that might have just been for the uh, dragon coin. Uh, you know what, it's probably up on top of, or not. Um, back where I entered. Uh, okay, well, I guess there's... 
I didn't get all the way to the left, so maybe it's all the way to the left? Oh wait, I go all the way back here? That's, uh, that hardly seems fair. Wait, no, wait, that's not... I haven't been here before. Okay, well there's obviously a door here. There's... Okay, GV for Gamma V, I'm guessing, but I don't see a door anywhere. Wait, what? What? What just happened? I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, was that time for the peace witch? It'd be awfully weird if it was. Okay, now we're... Are we all the way back at the beginning? That seems kind of mean. <laughs> you have to go all the way back to the beginning if you miss even one of the doors. All right then. Let's hope I don't run out of timer. Fortunately, I know the tricks to these first two rooms, so it should go pretty quickly. Accidentally started up a disco party. Okay. So. It has to be over to the left then. Nicely done, Doc. Standing right in front of the fire is a good way to not get burned, right? Okay, it's over here. I got fooled. I thought it was just the uh, Yoshi coin. But that does finally send us onward. Oh. Onward to Castle 2. Ludwig's Castle. Ludwig, huh? So wait, we went, we, we, we went from Iggy to Ludwig? Also, I have no idea what happened there. Um, but let's just go ahead. Alright. Okay, nothing in those. Whoa, okay. Doc, there are drop platforms in this game. You might want to remember that. So, the wannabe garbage blocks from Tetris Attack will fall, so it's best not to stick around on them for too long. As if you needed to be advised of that, anyone watching this game. Because, you know, even if you haven't played Mario before, you can probably suspect that you don't want to stick around on something that is going to fall into a certain death area. I mean, it's not exactly rocket science. Combining drop platforms with auto scroll, though, is usually one of my uh, less favorite types of things. Because drop platforms want you to go forward very quickly, and auto scroll is like. No, you are going to go at this pace and this pace only. Did I just miss my chance of that? Uh, I didn't, but it was probably more dangerous than it needed to be. <laughs> anyway, auto scroll is like that kid in the uh, 
that kid in the mall who's having a tantrum and his parent is just dragging them along. Oh, okay. Um, I thought you were just gonna shoot ahead. Clearly I was wrong. You, however, are very easy, Ludwig. I like that you're, uh, taking advantage of that, uh, musical history background, though. I don't think that's usually... Mario, did you just eat Ludwig? That is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, <laughs> on to world three then. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.